Hi everybody, welcome to Kitchen Table Gaming. I'm Brian David Marshall. This is my kitchen. We have a very special episode today because in addition to making some food, we're gonna be talking about a game I helped make. Emergence Genesis, the deck building game. I've got Matt Ferrando and Anthony Conta, two of the designers coming over today. We've got a release party tonight. I'm making cookies for our guests, some of the New York backers who helped us kickstart the game. And uh, I'm gonna make those guys lunch and we're gonna talk to you about Emergence Genesis. In Emergence Genesis, there's four different distinct groups of powers. There's strong arms, there's non-stops, there are sculptors, and we have acolytes. Acolytes study under the abyss, and they learn all sorts of mental and mystical arts. Uh, one of the characters in the game is called Bookworm, and Bookworm has the ability to absorb anything he can through the written word. Uh, and so, to sort of celebrate the acolytes, we're making uh, corn cookies based on Christina Tossi's recipe from Milk Bar here in New York City. Uh, they are absolutely fabulous cookies. Uh, I love her recipe and I've added a little bit of a twist of my own to it to make it even a little more luxurious and rich. Right, first thing we want to do is start out with two sticks of softened butter. If, like me, you haven't softened the butter, what you can do is grate the butter, either frozen or very cold, and that'll help it assimilate in with the sugar faster. You add a cup and a half of sugar, you mix that for two minutes. I add the zest of one orange at this point and I let that go for two minutes, add an egg, and then you let that go in the mixer for another eight minutes. It's really important that you go eight minutes. Then once it's all mixed, you add in the dry ingredients. Ah! Then we add the baking soda, the baking powder, the salt. We get that all in with the butter and we just mix that until it all comes together and then a cup of dried cherries. Once that's all mixed out, we scoop it out onto the cookie sheet, cool them in the freezer for about 15 minutes before we put them in a 350 degree oven, 17 to 18 minutes, put them out on a wire rack and try to wait long enough to eat them. All right, one of my favorite characters in the uh, Emergence Universe is Moxie. She is the strongest person in the universe and she's the leader of the Strong Arms School. And what Strong Arms do is they punch. So what we're making is an old fashioned punch. All right, first we make cherry juice ice cubes. We're taking some wedges of orange, some sprigs of thyme. We're taking cherry juice, putting it in an ice cube tray, freezing that up, and that's gonna be the start of our drink. We then put each ice cube in a, well, in an old fashioned glass, put a dash of bitters in there, put a little bit of maple syrup instead of simple syrup, because you know we're cooking with maple syrup today. Then some good bourbon, and a splash of Prosecco. And there you have an old fashioned punch. All right, everyone who helped us uh, back Emergent Genesis and get it out, can't think of a better way to celebrate than with a good old fashioned punch. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I can't wait to punch it. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to go to our Emergence Genesis deck building game uh, release party. But we're gonna hang out, we're gonna eat a little food, we're gonna have a couple drinks. Uh, with me are game designer, Anthony Conta. Hello and game developer, Matt Ferrando. All right. And uh, so we're gonna play. Uh, Matt, which character are you playing today? I am Professor Helios. Uh, Anthony, what, what are you playing? I'm Moxie. Okay, I'll, I'm playing Billy Stopless. So who's going first? I'm gonna pay two to buy Control-Alt-Delete. So I'm gonna spend four focus and buy Grind. Uh, I'm gonna play this card called Punch. Matt, do you remember what this does? No, what does it do? It attacks for one, I'm gonna attack medium for one. Okay. Great. And then I have three focus to buy Seismic Strike. And then I'm gonna spend five focus to buy Won't Stop. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna buy Can't <laughs> Stop. Not just Can't Stop. I'm gonna actually buy the Won't Stop. But also Won't Stop. All right, um, play Control, Alt, Delete. I get one skill. I look at the top part of my deck and I can choose to erase it. I'll just start to erase it. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. What about three? BDM's winning. <laughs> BM's winning. It's very clear that Matt's not winning, though. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna remove one of these counters. I'll punch BDM for two. 17. I'll get a counter back. I'm gonna remove one of these counters, and I'll punch BDM for two. I'm at 15. I'll get a counter back. Uh, control, alt, delete. Uh, sure. Look. <laughs> Did you miss again? <laughs> oh, you my back. <laughs> so, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine skill. That's a lot of skill. That is a lot of skill. That's like sure mad skill. That. That's mad skill. Yeah. And then I am going to activate Billy Stoppel's ability. Do, 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 
No, I didn't. Okay. I'm gonna remove this counter from Moxie that gives me charge one. Cool. Then I'm gonna play this card that says charge two. Then I'm gonna play this card that says spread two. All right, control alt delete. One time. Did you <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> this Why? Is, Why? This is the best game Why of this game happen? that I've played. This is great. If um, control alt delete worked from that turn, you would have healed four. Well, first, I'm gonna erase an arm's length and do six to Matt. Ooh. I'm going to counter one. No! Oh. <laughs> I'm at two. I'm dead. <laughs> Freaking easy. Oh no. Oh boy. But you consult me. I'm gonna remove a counter to get plus one attack and then attack Matt for three. I'm going to counter for one. Okay. Draw card. So I'll take one down to seven and I will break. And then I die. This one. Oh you're dead. <laughs> Great. Whoa. Cool. Good games, gentlemen. Good games. Moxie, quite a punch. So in Emergent Genesis, Professor Helios leads the Sculptors. Sculptors are characters who can take things and turn them into other things. Uh, Professor Helios is a fire sculptor. He has the ability to take fire and make anything. He has a sword, he has a shield. So we're gonna do celebrate sculpting by doing a little pasta sculpting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, linguine and we're gonna make what my grandmother used to call a macaroni pie. I'm gonna start with a pound and a half of fettuccine. We've got some pancetta that we rendered, some onions that we cooked in that pancetta fat, shiitake mushrooms that we sauteed. We've got a container of ricotta cheese, a couple cups of Parmesan cheese, some lemon zest, six eggs, and we're just gonna mix this all together and create this custard. We're gonna put the pasta in that. That's going into a springform pan and we're going to top it with breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. And that whole thing is going to cook in a 350 degree oven for an hour. And when it comes out, we're going to have these beautiful wedges of macaroni pie. So Billy Stopless is the leader of the non-stops in Emergence Genesis. And this is a school that revolves around quickness. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick tomato sauce. Uh, we talked about my grandmother's macaroni pie. Uh, she would cook her sauce for a day. I don't have that kind of patience. I want a quick, easy tomato sauce. This is what I do. I start with one sweet onion and several cloves of garlic chopped up in a cold pan. I then put the zest of one lemon, maybe a tablespoon of red pepper flake, salt, black pepper, and then olive oil. And then I turn on the pan and I bring it to heat. Let all those flavors meld together in the oil. Once the garlic and the onions have gotten soft, I add the juice of the lemon and I let that cook for about 30 seconds or so, and then I add in a can of San Marzano tomatoes. I like to cut the tomatoes in the can with a pair of kitchen scissors. You know, I find that if you cut them on the board, the juice runs everywhere. I let that simmer for a few minutes, maybe five or 10 minutes until it starts to thicken and all come together and smell delicious. Then I tear in some fresh basil. We're done, quick marinara sauce. All right guys, we need to defend against all that punch. <laughs> so here's... Here's some carbs to soak that up. Fantastic. It's, uh, my grandmother's macaroni pie with our non-stop tomato sauce. Man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop eating. <laughs> it's really good. All right, we've got a few old-fashioned punches in us. We've soaked it up with a little pasta sculpting, a little non-stop tomato sauce. Now we have some acolyte cookies that we're gonna bring to the release party for Brian David Marshall, Anthony Conta, and Matt Frando. Signing off from Kitchen Table Gaming.